Okay you two, we are just about ready to take off for Hannah, Sapphire, Agnes, and Amanda's competition. Since it's on the other side of the state, you two are going to have to watch over the others for the weekend. Do you both think you can handle that? Of yes, course. Mom. That's what we like to hear. Well, it looks like we're ready to go. You both have a good weekend. I'll be out there in a moment, Doris. I need to let Caillou and Rosie be aware of something. All right, boys. So before we go, I need you both to keep an eye on the weather while we're gone. They're saying that intense storms may end up hitting the area, especially tomorrow night. In the event things get bad, you know what to do and where to go. All right. Thanks for letting us know, Dad. We'll keep an eye out for if things do get bad. Good. Well, with that out of the way, I'm going to be going now. You both have a good weekend. You too, Dad. Tell the younger ones we wish them good luck in their competition. So, Rosie, since we're by ourselves watching over the others, what do you got planned for now? Well, the only thing I really have to do is finish up the rest of my classwork for my college class. It shouldn't take too long, assuming Daisy and Cody don't bother me too much. Well, remember, one of the main things we need to check on is the weather. We'll need to keep an eye on the news every now and then throughout the weekend. That is true. I do remember some of my friends talking about that. Well, I guess we should carry on for now. I'll talk to you more once I finish with my classwork. All right, Rosie. Welcome to our 9 p.m. news. First up is our 7-day forecast. Tonight is looking like it's going to be mostly cloudy with a chance of rain. Tomorrow is the day we're looking out for. Tomorrow is going to be cloudy all day, with the chance of wind and severe thunderstorms all day. We have also received reports that there is a possibility of tornado weather all day tomorrow. As a result, tornado watches have been issued for many areas in Beyond City. While it is not guaranteed that tornadoes will form, the weather hey, is Caillou, likely to be what very are you dangerous doing? tomorrow. Oh, it is I'm just watching the news. To GNN they news just to announced the forecast. The to the They're weather. saying that severe now weather is possible all news. throughout tomorrow, especially around the evening hours. Wait, so are you saying there's gonna be thunderstorms tomorrow? I was really hoping there'd be nice weather, because I wanted to go do stuff with a friend. Unfortunately, the chances of thunderstorms are going to be pretty high. They're even saying that the weather is slowly becoming the correct conditions for a tornado to form. They've already started issuing tornado watches for the entirety of our area. As a result, it may not be the best idea to go out with your friend tomorrow. Damn it, I was really looking forward to meeting up with her. Oh well, I guess I'll have to call her to let her know that we'll have to postpone for some time. I'm sorry Daisy, I would have loved to let you meet her, but I would rather you be as safe as possible. Yeah that's understandable, it's not like it's the end of the world or anything like that. Well, I am pretty tired, so I'm just going to go do my nighttime routine and then head to bed. Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and do the same. I'm also pretty tired. Alright Daisy, I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning too, Caillou. Well, after several long hours, I have finally finished and turned in my essay. Hopefully my professor likes it. I think my voice just cracked. Well I think I'm gonna look out my window for a moment. Whoa. My god, they weren't kidding. It really does look bad out there. I can kind of hear the wind blowing against the window. I'm going to go inform Caillou about this concerning weather. That was a funny joke, right Caillou, right? Yeah, real funny Cody, real funny. Guys, have you seen the weather going on right now? It's getting pretty bad. It must be pretty bad if you're coming up to us with this much urgency. Yeah it's getting bad. The clouds are getting pretty dark, 
and the winds are slowly but surely picking up. I know we had winds today, but they weren't this strong before. Let me go check real quick. I meant to earlier, but I forgot. Whoa. So um, yeah, it's not really the best idea to be outside right now. I knew it was going to be very windy today, but I didn't expect it to happen. Have you talked to our parents at all today? I'm starting to wonder how worried they may be about us, considering how bad the weather has gotten. You know, I was thinking about that. I should let them know how bad the weather is getting over here. I'll go do- How ironic. That's dad calling me right now. Hello. Hey Kai you. how's the weather holding up down there? Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. It was slowly getting more and more cloudy as the day went on. Now it's really windy, and the clouds are getting concerningly dark. That's what I suspected, as I've been checking the news every now and then, and they've been keeping a really good eye on your area. They are saying that these storms are going to be very dangerous and that tornado weather is very likely. They've already been issuing warnings for several areas in Vion City. I don't know if or when the area of our house is going to get the warning, but if you do, make sure that all you guys, as well as the cat, are gathered together. I don't know about you dad, but with how the weather's been all day, I'm starting to think that these approaching storms are going to evolve into something much, much worse. Well do you remember that underground shelter you and me work on all throughout the summer? Oh yeah, I remember. Well in the event of an extreme emergency, you all are more than welcome to seek shelter under there. That place should be able to withstand any dangerous weather like this. Didn't you say the key for the shelter is in my room somewhere? That's correct. I put it on the top of your dresser. I'm sure you know what it looks like. Right. And there is also plenty of food and drinks in the underground shelter. That way, in the event you have to stay under there for a while, you won't starve or dehydrate. Well, I was just making sure you were prepared just in case an emergency happens. I've been ready for something to happen all day. I just don't know if or when it's going to happen. If something does happen, I'll let you know right away. Thank you Caillou. Well, I'll let you go now. The event for the young ones is going to start here soon. I wish them the best of luck. Goodbye Dad. Goodbye. So, what did Dad want? He was just making sure we were prepared in the event an emergency happens. He said that tornado warnings have been issued for several areas in the Yon City. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm starting to believe this storm is going to develop into something extremely bad. Well we should do our best not to panic. The best thing we can do right now is to inform the other three that we may need to be prepared to take shelter tonight. Sorry if it looks like I was getting freaked out, but you know how skeptical I can be of things. It's not a problem. Anyway, I'll go ahead and tell Emily and Lily about the current situation. And I'll go let Daisy know about this as well. Hopefully this storm doesn't evolve into something catastrophic. No, I have a really strong feeling that it's going to. I'm trying to stay calm and not panic, though I'm just trying my best to be prepared for the worst case scenario. For all I know, we're probably gonna be woken up by sirens. Well I'll just carry on with my routine for now. See you on the flip side. It's really gotta happen at this time of night now, hub. Oh, hey Rosie. I assume you heard the sirens too. Yeah, I did. Why don't you go start getting everyone up? I'm gonna go down and check the news.
watching us right now, it has been confirmed that there is a very large and deadly tornado on the ground right now. There isn't any photos of it at the moment, as it is so dark that it is nearly impossible to see the tornado. The blackouts it's causing is not helping either. Wait, hold on, I just received an image of the tornado that was taken by one of our cameras. It was able to take photo of it during the lightning's drive plan. Well, oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tornado unlike anything I have ever seen before. Holy this is not crap. something that you should take lightly. Caillou, get everyone down people. quick. The worst case scenario has been confirmed. We're already gathered. What do you mean worst case scenario? Just look at the TV and look at how big that tornado is. Oh Sweet mother my god. Of my friends were not this kidding not about this being Repeating. extreme storm this is not weather. A test. This message I don't is being issued from the National Weather Service and local emergency management agency in your area. This a tornado a emergency has been issued for the entirety of Fion City, effective immediately until further notice. At 12.30 a.m., Doppler radar confirmed an extremely large and deadly tornado on the ground 5 miles west of Plotagon City, moving north toward Fion City at around 80 miles per hour. It is confirmed that anything in the path of this tornado will be destroyed immediately, leaving nothing behind. Even the most sturdy structures are likely to perish. The tornado will be nearly impossible to see due to major blackout conditions. This is an extremely deadly situation that should not be ignored. No place of safety inside your home or nearby structure is safe. Evacuate. Repeating. Evacuate now. Move to a nearby underground shelter Whoa. immediately. What's if going no such on with shelter the news? is available to you, or if time allows, move to the nearest authorized tornado shelter. Do not wait. Do not delay. Act now. What in the world is going on here? Oh my god, we got him with now. Follow me everyone. to be safe down here. We're going to have to stay in here for the rest of the night, since I am unsure when the all clear is going to be given. There are plenty of blankets and pillows in the other rooms down there, so get yourselves comfortable for the rest of the night. Rosie. Yeah, Lily? I, I'm... I'm scared, Rosie. I'm scared our home is going to be destroyed by the storm. I don't want to lose everything. Hey, Lily, it's going to be okay. Even if our house does get destroyed, you're always going to have me and your other siblings by your side. Due to how extreme this storm is, all we can do is pray that the tornado misses our house. For right now though, try your best to remain calm. I, um, I'll try my best Rosie. That's what I like to hear. Anyway, we should go ahead and get some rest since we're going to be in here for the rest of the night. Okay, Rosie. Well what do you know, it completely missed our house. That's surprising. With how big and deadly that thing was, I'd expect at least some form of damage. We must have been really lucky. Yeah no kidding. Well everyone, I'm going to go around the city to see if there's anyone in need of help. Rosie, go ahead and phone our parents, and the rest of you go back inside the house and don't go out anywhere, as many places have probably sustained severe damage.
Hello, Rosie. Hey there, Dad. Me and the others just got out of the shelter. Yeah, good thing you used that. According to the news, they're saying that this tornado wasn't any ordinary tornado. It wasn't just a record-breaking tornado. It was a tornado that broke the scales that nobody would have ever thought imaginable. It completely wiped out anything it touched. That's how severe the damage was. If you're wondering about whether or not the house got any damage, let's just say the tornado completely missed it. Oh that's wonderful news. I was worried about the house, along with the safety of you and the others. Glad to see you all are okay. I am glad as well. Right now, Caillou is looking around the city to see if anybody needs help. That's good of him to do. The news hasn't calculated the injury and death toll yet, but I imagine it won't be pretty. Well, me, your mother, and the younger ones will start traveling home around noon so that we will get to see the damage for ourselves. All right, Dad. I will see you all then. I'm going to hang up now and watch the news myself. Okay, Rosie. I will see you when we get home. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dad.